Hello everyone, my name is Pankaj and welcome to my third video in the Protector Video Tutorial Series. In this video what we are going to do is we are going to understand a sample program which is given by the Protector and we will try to understand that how the filing system works in the Protector and how you will have to write the script and also at the same time we will try to understand the basic concepts that you will have to follow while writing the automation script in Protector. So once you install the Protector in your machine, Protector installs Protector keeps two files in your local, one is, one is conf.js and second one is specs.js. So specs.js will have all the automation related to your test cases. So you basically you will be writing your test cases inside the specs.js and you will have to write the setting related thing in the conf.js. So you will also have to pass the reference of spec.js inside the conf.js and you will have to trigger the conf.js explicitly and by default it will run all the test cases which will be there in the specs.js right so to find the uh, path where it is uh, it has been kept by the protector you will have to go to your c drive then you will have to go in users and then username then app data app data usually remains the hidden folder so you'll have to enable that folder in order to view the app data folder and then you'll have to go to roaming then npm node modules protector and then example here you'll be able to see that there are two files one is conf and second one is example spec file so you just have to open that file and you'll be able to see conf on and specs.js files so inside the conf.js there are configuration related information and inside the spec.js there are test cases related information so let me go back to my uh, slides and here I'll try to explain you in better way. So here it is, uh, I have attached one snapshot of the conf.js file and here you can see that the file begins with the exports.config. So inside the conf.js you'll have to write everything inside the exports.config block. And then comes your direct connect is equals to true. So direct connect is used whenever you have to execute your automation script on Chrome or Firefox. So what happens if you write the direct connect is equals to true which means you don't have to start the selenium server and then execute the protector because usually what happens if you remember as we saw in the my previous slide that in order to work on the protector first you had to start the web driver manager and you had to start it. So this is the command to start it. So once you hit the enter it triggers the selenium server in your machine and then you will have to uh, execute the protector script but if you have to script if you have to execute your script on the firefox or chrome then you don't have to do this you can directly write the direct connect colon true and you can directly execute the script on the chrome or firefox then comes your capabilities so inside the capabilities you'll have to pass on all the info information related to the browser settings so whatever setting you define here whenever the browser will be launched that setting will be loaded inside that browser and also here you will have to pass the information about what browser you have to you want to use as part of your test execution uh, so here you can see that I have written Chrome I mean the the protector has written Chrome by default it is using Chrome and you can also use Firefox or any other web browsers then comes your framework so here in this case you can see that the framework is Jasmine Jasmine is the default framework uh, uh, for the protector scripts so to choose the framework for your test project jasmine mocha cucumber and serenity js are the available frameworks jasmine is the default framework whenever you install the protector now uh, the specs and inside the specs you will have to pass the information related to your specification.js file so spec.js file is the one where your automation script will be written so your all test cases related information will be inside the spec.js file and you'll have to pass that information inside this uh, specs so that whenever you execute the conf.js it will take the reference of the spec.js and it will execute all the test cases which will be there in the specs.js file and then comes your jasmine node opts and here the default timeout interval is 30,000 milliseconds so to specify the global wait time here you can specify the time in milliseconds and here your script will wait maximum for this period of time before throwing any timeout error so that's all that you have to put inside the conf.js file now let's go on the specs.js so inside the specs.js you have you can see that there are multiple describe blocks right there are multiple describe blocks so you don't have to go uh, in each of the describe block just to understand I have taken the one reference of the one describe block here so uh, each describe block defines one test suite for your automation script 
a further automation project. So here you will have to write the describe and inside the describe you will have to give a little introduction that what describe is all about. So uh, basically uh, your describe is, write, is written for creating your test suite. So you have to give an introduction of the suite that what are the test cases which is there and then you have to write one function and inside that function you will have to write the test cases and each test case will be referred by it so each each it block will basically denote one test case and with whatever you have to do in uh, in order to execute a test case you have to write inside the it block so let's begin here in jasmine framework every code statement begins with the describe block inside the describe block you will have to write the test cases now each it block is for each test functions so you can see as we said that each test cases will be denoted by the it blocks and inside the it block you'll have to write the steps that you have you have to follow and the assertions that you have to do in order to pass a failure test case so once you're done with that you will write the script uh, you will write the statement to navigate to a website so to navigate to a website you will have to use browser so in earlier in selenium web driver we were using the driver to navigate but here the it is divided into two part so one is browser to do the browser related uh, navigations and one is to, one is element to do the page level actions so browser will navigate to the specified website and then in order to find the element you'll have to use one keyword called element so once you write the element you have to pass on the information that by using watch what uh, locator you have to find the element so here you can see the, in this statement element by dot model model is the locator which is in protector only and it also has all the locators which is there in the selenium web driver so model and binding are the some added locators which is there in the protector so the statement looks like like element then by dot model then you have to pass the model value here and then send keys you have you're going to type something in that block and then here in this uh, statement in the next statement what we are doing is we are storing one element which is uh, locator the locator which is used here to find that element is by dot binding and then the name of that locator so it is storing the elements path elements of value inside the variable greeting and now here in this statement we are asserting something and to assert something in the javascript expect keyword is used so expect keyword and then the condition that you want to match in order to pass or fail your test case so that's all that you have to write while writing any test case in the specs.js file similarly there are many other things like before each after each that is the part of the jasmine framework and in my next video i'll explain the keywords which is there in the jasmine framework so for at this moment that's it we understood that what is conf.js file and what is specs.js file right that's all in this video thanks for watching